In this video, we're going to look at some string manipulation and we're going to look at a very basic encryption example where we can scramble up some sort of text so that based on some sort of key so that it's unreadable unless you know how to decrypt it. So very basically, I've got some sort of edit box where we're going to take a string, some sort of text, and we're going to encrypt it. In other words, we're going to scramble it based on some sort of key and um, some sort of or some sort of rule. I'm just going to do a very basic example, and you can obviously adapt it. I'm going to do it in two ways. Um, the one way is using our character um, functions, if you remember them correctly. If you're not too sure, then go watch our character functions video just on string manipulation. So basically, what I want to do is I want to take all the letters, like for example, the, the A, I want to then convert it to a B, and all the Bs must be converted to a C, and all the Cs must be converted to a D. So basically, I'm shifting everything up. So basically, if it was A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we are now going to have whatever the A is, is now going to be a B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So whatever, if we find an A, we're going to make it a B. And if we find a B, we're going to make it a C. So before I get to that, I'm just going to show you some stuff here. We're going to say show message. Okay, and now there's these there's two functions that we're going to need to use are char and ord. Okay, so let's start with char. So that's going to be a char so that takes in a number okay so if i give it a number like so let's start with odd actually because odd's going to be our better bet so odd returns a number if we give it a particular x if we give it a that's going to return some sort of number okay so what that number is you'll see when we say a hey, you can't can't do that because you put in a number in a show message you can say hey there's a problem you can't put string and integer so obviously this is going to return this is going to return the ascii value for the letter a so i'm going to convert that from a string to an int and see what it does no int to string sorry my bad it's int to string because it is an int we want to convert it to a string so we can see what the number is for the letter A. So let it compile. Boom, boom, boom. When it finally gets there. So if I click on encrypt, so it says that the letter, small letter A is a 97. So remember that the small letter A equals 97. Now if I do the small letter B, I want you to notice something. That's a 98. That's interesting. So it follows straight after. And I've got a funny feeling that a C would be 99. Okay. Let's try it. Yes, it is. And the same, I suppose, would go for the capital letters. So if I take the letter E, that would be, a, obviously wouldn't be the same as that. It would be a much bigger number. It's a, a 69. But if I make that the letter F, when I click on the run button, so that E was 69, F is a 70. So they all follow on some sort of logical sequence. So ASCII value is a number value. So what I can do, if I find an A, right, if I've got the letter A, I can first of all convert it to its ASCII value, which is a 97. Now I want to make that A a B. So then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to take that 97 and plus one onto it to make it a 98. And then I'm going to convert that 98 back into its character version, which is a B. And so the opposite of ORD is char. So you'll see here, if I say char of a number like 98, Okay, so I don't need all those brackets. In this case, we take in the value and convert it back into its ASCII value. So if I take 98 char, you'll see it's a small b. So that's technically what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do then for this encryption, I'm going to go for i equals, we're going to go through each and every character in this string, which we've got in S line. We've already done the input. So from one till the length of S line. So we need some sort of loop variable. I'll type integer. Boom. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a new string. I need to take S line R, which is the character that I'm looking at. I need to take that character. What I need to do is I need to convert it. So we're going to we're going to take that S line, which is obviously going to be like the A, and we're going to convert it to its number version. How do we get the number version of it? We use the ORD. The ORD of it would convert it to its number version. I'm going to do it step by step. You could do it in one go, but I think to make it less complicated, let's do it into its ASCII value, ASCII num. Let's call it that. It's ASCII num. Our ASCII num is equal to the ORD of whatever the character is. So I is going to be a 1, so take the first character and convert it to its number. So if it was, for example, an A, it would ASCII num would be, become a 97. We then want to take that 97, this number, and we want to add 1 to it. Okay, so we're going to add 1 to it, and we want to get a 98, and we want to convert that to a character. Okay, so we want to convert that to a character. So I'm going to take that, that R ASCII num, we're going to add 1 to it, and we're going to convert it to that value to its character. The opposite of ORD is char. So take that 97, which is now a 98, and find the character that's represented by the ASCII value plus 1. And what do we want to do with that? We want to add that onto some sort of new string. I'm going to make a new string. It's new. And we're going to say, hey, we've got a new string. Okay. And we want to add this onto whatever's current in the new string. So keep adding on to the end of it. So, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. But we must give it a starting value. Like S new must be initialized. Now, when you initialize a string, you initialize it to the null string, which is just double quote, quote. Okay. So when I is a one, it's going to go fetch position one of the text, which is that capital T. The capital T, capital T will then be converted to its ASCII value, whatever that number is. That number will then we will plus one onto it. So if it was, for example, I don't know what the ASCII value for a T is, but it'll take that value and add one to it and get the character associated with that, which will probably be the U, the capital U, and take that U and add it onto S new. So that's all, because it had nothing in it, so it'll be the S new. Then it's going to go find the H find the ASCII value of the H plus one onto that H after H is R, it'll be a small R, that small R will be converted or that number will be converted to an R and that R will be added onto the U. So it'll be U, capital U, and then a small R and then so on and so on. And then once that's done from all the characters from one to the length, we can then show a message S new to see if that has done the encryption correctly. Let's see if that works. Okay. So, if I click encrypt, look at that, look at that scramble. So the U, the T became a U, and the H became an R, and the E bumped up to F, and the space even jumped up to a the next character in the ASCII symbol, which would obviously be a question mark. You could do some sort of code here if you wanted to use, keep the, it's the spaces. If it's a space, then don't do this. You could do something like that. But there it's all jumbled up. You can see it's all jumbled up. It's phenomenal. There we go, all jumbled up. Fantastic. Okay, so that's an encryption technique, basically. So if you want to um, have it go from A to C, then you would just be adding 2 to your ASCII number. Or you could say go up by 5. So you could actually allow the user to enter in what the how much it must move up by, by a level of 5 or whatever, and then you use that value to determine the ASCII shift. So if it goes from an A to 5 characters up from an A. So there we go. That's the basic encryption that you could use. There is another way of doing it, which I'll do in the next video. For more videos in this video series, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.